falling, it's falling, it's falling, it's, it fell. Okay, well, we tried. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a video that I've seen a couple of people do. It's like 21 books for 2021. So it's a list of 21 books that I want to try to read in 2021. This is going to be me like holding myself accountable. So in 2022, we're going to rewatch this video and hopefully all 21 of these books have been read. So without further ado, let us get started. So I just have like a pile of 21 books. So we're just going to pull from the piles and that's the order that we're going to do it in. So the first book in the pile is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. The fourth book in this series recently came out, The Mask is Falling. I own the first three. I don't even know what the second and third books are called. I think one is like the mime order. No idea what the other one is, but I own the three. If I can get my hands on the fourth one, then we can read this and then we can just have a grand old time. I know that a lot of booktubers from like the UK have read this series and absolutely love it. So I just want to be part of the bandwagon and be able to jump on it too. So hopefully by 2022, this series has been completed. Next on the list is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Honestly, the entire Grisha series I need to finish because the Netflix show is coming out in like April, I think. So this is like very high on the list because I want to have read the books before I start the series because I said that about Shadowhunters too, but I have yet to ever watch the Shadowhunters series because I just finished the TMI Mortal Instruments books in 2020, I think. So we're always behind, but I'm hoping that this is not the case for this one and we're gonna get all three of them done. Who knows if that's gonna happen. The next book is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. My favorite book of 2021 was The Shadow Between Us by Trisha Levenseller, so I just want to read another Trisha Levenseller book, and this one was so kindly gifted to me from Madison from Paperback Princess, so I feel like I really do need to read it because she got it from me for my birthday and I've yet to pick it up. So. Next is 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. I recently read The Hating Game and absolutely fell in love with it. It's one of my favorite books. It made my top 2020 list of books, so I just want to read another Sally Thorne book. I have heard that this one is not as good as The Hating Game, and a lot of people were disappointed in it, but it's also like a best friend's brother book, and that's like my love story right now is my brother's best friend's little brother, so I feel like I need to read it so I can relate to this couple. Next up is another like OG booktube book and it is Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is actually on my TBR for February. I'm just waiting for it to come in on audiobook because I heard the audiobook is like amazing according to people on booktube. I also heard that it will make you sob so you know I don't want to get the pages wet so we're gonna get the audiobook so that I don't have to cry into the book. I can just cry beside the book. Next is another conclusion of a series that I absolutely adore. It is Queen of Volts by Amanda Foody. This is the third and final book of the City of Sins trilogy. The first book was Ace of Shades, the second was King of Fools. I absolutely adored those books, so again, I am very excited to see how the book ends and how the story concludes, but also I don't want to read it because, you know, I don't want the story to end and I don't want to say goodbye to these characters. Next so. is a book I actually recently acquired because I discovered Facebook Marketplace, and that place is a magical place for books, but it is The Shadow Wand by Lori Forrest. This is the third book in the Black Witch Chronicles, which I know is a very controversial series and it was cancelled a couple of years ago when the books were first released but I think that people should read it and forge their own opinions. I really like the series so I'm very excited to see how it concludes so yeah. Next is one that a lot of people have been rating 5 out of 5 stars when it first came out and it is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. Like I said, everyone says that this book is amazing so I just want to be able to read it too and say that it is amazing too. I read the first chapter for a try the chapter tag kind of situation and I was instantly hooked so I really do need to finish it. 
Next is Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Charcaborty. I read City of Brass last month in January and I really enjoyed it so I figured I really should continue on with the series to figure out more about the story and what's going to happen next but it is just such a chonker that I'm very intimidated by it so we'll see if it ever actually occurs but this video is me holding myself accountable. You're gonna do it Jay. You're gonna do it. Next is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is her adult series, I believe. I recently read Darker Shade of Magic, so I couldn't include it on this list because I already completed it, but I do need to finish the other two books, but I've recently been reading a lot of V.E. Schwab, and I really like their writing, so I'm very intrigued to see what this one's all about. And I do believe that it's like a villain story and I love villains so much so I'm very excited about this one. Next up is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Everybody who's read this book has rated it so highly and I feel just so out of the loop because I haven't finished the series or even started the first one obviously so again I just want to be part of the bandwagon so I really do need to pick it up. Next is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Like I said, I recently completed the Mortal Instruments and so I need to move on to the Dark Artifices. I also just received an arc from Simon & Schuster of Chain of Iron. So I need to finish these three books so that I can go on to read Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron so that I don't feel like I'm just like way too privileged by getting that arc and not reading it for six years. So I really need to step up my arc reading game so this needs to be completed ASAP. Next is Only Human by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is the third and final book in the Sleeping Giants trilogy. I read the other two books so I just want to complete the series because I actually really did enjoy the first two books in the series so I don't really know why I haven't picked this up. It's honestly just been sitting on my shelf since it was gifted to me last year so I really do need to pick it up because like I said it was a gift so I feel really bad for not having picked it up yet. Next is The Golden Lily by Rochelle Mead. This is the second book in the Bloodline series. Honestly, I have been putting off these books because I wasn't the biggest fan of Bloodlines, but I already owned the next like three or four books in the series and I just haven't wanted to pick it up, but they're taking up space on my shelf so I need to read them so that I can unhaul them because I already unhauled Bloodlines, but I'm one of those people who can't unhaul a book before they read it because I paid money for it and that's the way my brain works. So series needs to be completed so I can fit more books on my shelf. Next is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. Everybody is reading this right now for like a readathon so I feel like I need to jump on that readathon so that I can get this done. Everybody seems to love this series so I want to be part of that love. I do know that it's a middle grade and it's very like whimsical so I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I do really want to read it because I think it's going to be a grand old time. Next up is Heart of Flames by Nikki Palpreto. This is the second book in the Crown of Feathers series. But I gave Crown of Feathers 5 out of 5 stars, one of my favorite books. I love it. I think it was so freaking good. So I need to know how the story continues because I love the characters so much. Next up is Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Warble. This has been on my shelf since before it was released, since this is an arc. I started it for a like five star prediction books video and I never completed it so shame on me but it is a thriller that is very similar to like the Gypsy Rose case. I find that case so fascinating so I really want to read this to like compare the two and just like you know analyze because that's what I do but I think it's gonna be really good and I'm like ashamed that I haven't continued on with it. I think I got like 25 pages in. 30 pages so failure. <laughs> The next one that I have I am again a little bit ashamed of because it's like the OG book on booktube and it is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I feel like I'm like the only person who has yet to read this series and I honestly just feel like it is something that as a booktuber you need to do in your life just like Harry Potter was a thing that you needed to do. I still have yet to complete those books because now we don't support them but you know. I just feel like I'm always behind on the times and I don't want to be behind on the times anymore so we're gonna read this Another this year. 
The next book is actually another Rochelle Mead book. It is Midnight Jewel, and this is the second book in the Glittering Court series. But I read the Glittering Court back in like 2017, 2018, and I actually did really enjoy it. So I do want to see where the story goes from there. So might as well pick up the second book in the series. I don't own the third. I think there's only three. There might be four, but I don't own the other ones. So we're gonna get this one done. Next up is Tarnish City by Vic James. This is the second book in the Gilded Cage trilogy and the author actually sent me the second and third books in the trilogy because I absolutely adored the first book and I ended up winning a giveaway for the second book and she ended up sending me both of them because she knew how much I enjoyed it. So I still have not read them so clearly I am a bad giveaway winner and I'm so sorry Vic James but this is the year we're gonna get through the two book so that I can see how it concludes because it was such a good first book. And then my final book on the 21 books for 2021 is War Girls by Tochi Onibuchi and I received an arc for this book from the publisher and then I ended up getting the E arc for the second book in the series and I hadn't finished the first book so I am ashamed. I need to read it <laughs> so that I can read the second book in the series. I think that one is called Rebel Girls or something like that. It has Rebel Rebel Sisters, Rebel Girls, something like that. Not a lot of people read this book on booktube but a lot of people hauled it but I am actually reading it right now and I am on chapter 3 which is page 24 so I'm not very far in it but it is very intriguing and I am interested in reading it so I think it's gonna be a good time. Hopefully it's really good because I want to move on to the second book so that I can, you know, get that neck galley ratio up. I think I'm at 80 right now, so I am doing pretty good, but if I do read this book and the second book in the series, that's two books off of the neck galley shelf, so. All right, everybody, so that was my 21 books for 2021. Hopefully, when I rewatch this video next year, all 21 books will be read. If not, shame on you, Jan. I am disappointed in you. You had literally a whole year to read. 21 books. It's not that hard. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. Let me know which ones you think should be first that I read on my 21 books and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!